guys welcome back it's um it has been a morning my allergies are killing me my hair is has a mind of its own today and um it's so cold it is april 6th and i'm wearing a hoodie it's like 45 outside anyway let's get into this so um also just want to apologize my tripod broke so had to make do with like this little mini one that I had and it I don't know it doesn't screw in exactly right if I'm a little crooked I'm sorry I have to get a new tripod um anyway today I wanted to so I have made the decision to go cruelty free so I spent some time and you know got all of my makeup together and looked up you know every single company that you know i particularly have in my collection just to see are they cruelty free or not and surprisingly i did not have that many products that um weren't cruelty free so i'm going to show you what i have that's not cruelty free some of it is just um old or it doesn't work for me so i'm just going to declutter that some of it is still like new or gently used so i'll either donate that to like a women's shelter or see if like a friend or someone close to me wants something like that and then the other items that i have either i'm really close to finishing them or it's something that i really enjoy so i am going to um finish those up so this is going to kind of be like a um make my collection cruelty free project pan um, I want to uh, update you guys possibly every like three months from now until December because my goal would be um, to have all of these, uh, all the items that I choose to keep, to have them used up and moved out of my collection by December. So that gives me eight months to, to do that. So let's just get into it. Let's go over it. Um, so I am really bad at like if things are on sale and it's like buy one get one half off like I will buy so many of them so I have three of the Mac Fix Pluses uh, unopened one of them is currently in a project pan so as soon as that one is done um, I will roll out one of these but I have three three to use up this year I absolutely love the Max Mac Fix Plus I don't know what I'm gonna do when I can't when these three are gone and uh, I don't have it anymore. So if you have a favorite setting spray that you feel like is just the best, uh, let me know. I have the, let's see, what do I have right now? Right now I have the Catrice one. It's the, the matte version. I have that and that's okay. It's decent. Um, I have a wet and wild one, like the cucumber one to try, but that one I thought would be more like better suited to me as like a facial mist. Um, and then I have the Smashbox primer water, but that one, I don't, I don't particularly, particularly enjoy that one to like set my makeup. Um, I like to use that one as like a facial spray. So, but that's off topic. So I'm going to keep the Mac and try to finish it up. Uh, the next one, and I'm going to do these by like, uh, like group them by like brand. So the next one I have is the Revlon photo ready, um, pore reducing primer I so this is like the second bottle of this that I've bought this one's unopened like still sealed in the plastic I don't enjoy this I don't think that it dramatically helps my pores I think this is way overhyped in my opinion and then I don't know like I'm sorry this would be the third bottle I have had two others so with the other two bottles I don't know if this was a packaging flaw or I just got super unlucky um but it gets down like to about like right here, right under all of like the, the lettering. It gets to about that point and the pump like no longer will work to, to get the product out. And so then I have to like break open the black cap and like pop it off and try to scrape things out. And it's just, it's difficult to use at that point. So I don't enjoy it. The packaging has been flawed for me for two times. So this one I am going to donate. Next we have this one pains me too, like the Max Fix Plus. I have the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. I have two shades. I have shades uh, 23 and 21. 20, 
three is like, um, it's called, let's see, natural beige, and then 21 is light beige. I mix these to make my perfect shade. Um, first of all, the shade range, not good. It's a Korean skincare brand. Um, not that that excuses them, I'm just throwing that out there. Um, I get these off Amazon. They're like nine bucks for the two bottles. It comes, each one comes with uh, 50 mLs. So, not bad. I really enjoy this. It has SPF 42 in it, which is wonderful. It's what I'm wearing today, right now. Um, and I just, I love these. So, I obviously will finish these up, not repurchase them. But if you have a favorite BB cream uh, with SPF in it, tell me down below because I need to obviously look for a new one. I love to wear BB creams in the summer. It gets so humid where I live that it's just, it's unrealistic to wear foundation every day if you're gonna like attempt to go outside in any way. Uh, the next one, speaking of like, kind of like skincare sunscreen, this one surprised me. I don't know why I thought this brand would be cruelty free. I just, I just assumed they were. I don't know. It's the La Roche Posay. It's their, um, like, what is this called? <laughs> it is their sunscreen, but it's the clear skin, like the dry touch SPF 60. I really like this stuff. I also like to use this kind of like as a moisturizer, um, underneath makeup. If I'm not wearing the BB cream that I have, the one I just showed you, if I'm not wearing that, then I definitely like to put this on underneath my makeup because, you know, I'm sure I'm preaching to the choir. Uh, you need to wear your SPF when you go outside. So this one I will be using up and I guess, you know, the Mac bottles are all unopened. This, if I like squeeze it down and I guess I'll mark everything today. That way, if I do update you, we can kind of see project progress, make this kind of fun. But it feels like, and I can kind of see it, you know, the, the windows are right there. So I can kind of see the shadow. It's about right here, I would say. Bend it back. Yeah. Got about that much left, probably. Um, and then with the Misha, the, the BB creams, it's a little harder to tell. There's a lot of air in here. And then it's just, it's a pump tube packaging. So this one will be... A little harder maybe I'll end up like when nothing more will like pump out I'll cut the tops off just to make sure I get everything out that I potentially or possibly can uh, so the next one let's go to this the next thing I have I have two NARS blushes and I know at one point they used to be cruelty free but they're not anymore because I guess they started selling in China now um, but I have this shade I have the full size shade of Deep Throat, which is just this really pretty, like just basic run of the mill pink color. Um, and then I have like the deluxe, like little, I think this was a birthday gift from Ulta one year, but it's the um, shade Orgasm. And first of all, don't really like Orgasm. I think it's overhyped. I also, I don't tend to like these more like glittery kind of blushes. Um, and then in my collection, I also have the CYO Life Proof Blush. Um, it's not Life Proof, it's just CYO, it's their blush. And I think the shade name is Set to Stunt, no, I'm lying. I will look up the shade name for you, but um, it's it's a dupe for this. So I can keep that one and get rid of this one. Um, so this one will be donated. It's hardly been used too, as you can see. Um, this one, the Deep Throat. I really enjoy this shade, but I have so many that are similar to it, and I know my friend really loves NARS blushes, so I will donate this to her. Next we have, let's see, we have, I have two of these little like lip therapy tubs from Vaseline. I have the Cocoa Butter and the Rosy Lips. These, I, I go through chapstick like crazy. I feel like my lips are just continuously dry, and like I will do like a lip scrub and everything, and I, I, don't know, I try to take care of them, drink a lot of water, all that good stuff, but they just stay so dry. So I am going to use these up. I can open them. The pink one, the rosy pink, I don't think it adds any like tint to my lips, but my lips naturally are on the darker side. Um, I don't know if you can kind of tell or see. I don't know why I'm holding my hand up back here either, but I don't know if you can see how much kind of usage there is on that. So that one will probably be gone here 
by the next check-in. I mean, I, I feel like I meant to say this too. I think I will put updates on this like every three months. Um, and then I, I realized if you do it every three months, like in December being the finale, it'll only have been like two months since the last update, like October to December, two months. Uh, but I'll still do it that way. Um, so this is the cocoa butter one. It's white. It might be a little bit harder to tell where that one's at. But this one smells nice. I've used it a handful of times, but I'm definitely further along in the uh, pink one. Speaking of lip balm, we'll just get this out of the way. I got the Laneige uh, Lip Sleeping Mask. And I guess like just their standard like berry shade. I know they have vanilla. Um, I like this stuff. I got mine off of Amazon for like $14, just pro tip there if you were interested in trying this because 20 I think it's 20 regularly at Sephora is, is a lot. Now granted, there's a, there's a ton of product in here. I foresee this probably hanging around until 2019 um, and that's fine. I will use this up and just, you know, roll it out when it's done. Uh, it would be great to finish it out before the end of the year, but we'll just, we'll see three chapstick, three chapstick, whatever you want to call them, lip balms right now. Um, let's see. I have the L'Oreal Voluminous Base and then the Mascara in Burgundy. I don't like this primer. I don't think it does anything. It does not help my lashes. It does not make them thicker. It doesn't make other mascara apply more easily. So I am going to get rid of this. Plus it's white, which I assume most primers are. This is the first like mascara primer I've ever tried. Um, but it's white and it doesn't, there's some mascaras that I've tried with this that you have to go in with like three and four coats to really cover up the white part. So this I'm just going to get rid of, you know, it's eye products. We don't need to share those. Um, this is the, the burgundy shade and I, I do like this, especially in the summer and if you're wearing more of like a warm toned look, um, it looks really nice, but I have no interest, I have so many other mascaras. This is not one that I use on the daily basis. I know that's kind of wasteful, but, um, this is going to dry out before I, you know, end up finishing it. So I'm just going to roll it on out, get rid of it. The next thing by L'Oreal that I have is their matte color, color riche lipsticks. I have three shades. I have number 977 Passionate Pink. Then I have number 978 All Out Pout. Ooh, is that even straight? Yeah. And then I have number 983 Utmost Taupe. So I do really like these. I like the formula. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I like these. I like the formula of them. They're really nice. They're not drying. Like they go on really smoothly. The color lasts a good bit of the day. Um, so I am actually going to keep the shade Utmost Taupe because it is my favorite out of the three. And it is just this perfect... It's what I want in like a lip color. It's not too pink, it's not too brown. It's just, it's perfect in my opinion. I think it matches me really well. So I'm going to try to use this one up and I will donate the other two to my friend. She really, she has a thing for lipsticks, but this is how much is left of the utmost taupe shade. So Okay, so then the brand that I have the most of that um, isn't cruelty free is Maybelline. So I have two of the loose fit me powders in the shade fair light. I don't know why I have two. That's it's unnecessary. And guess what else? Guess what else? <laughs> Both of these are unopened. So I, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Um, I like this powder. It is a great setting powder. Um, it doesn't look cakey. It doesn't like cling to any weird patches. It doesn't, I have never used this with a foundation or a BB cream that, and I didn't like the end result of it. So it pains me. Um, but since they are unopened, I am going to donate them to give them a better home. They're you, they're new. Like I have bought these with like in the past, like six months. So they're not even that old. Um, unopened. Yes. Donate. Uh, the next one that I have, this one I'm going to keep and finish. It's the Maybelline 
Fit Me Set and Smooth Powder in 120 Classic Ivory. So it's very dirty, but as you can see, I have like basically nothing left. Um, I have repressed this, and so uh, I expect this will be gone like by the next time I update you guys on this. So yeah, this I'm just gonna finish out. I love to use this to set my makeup, especially like my cheek area, so I can blend like bronzer, blush, and highlighter. Nobody blends like this aggressively, but I like to use it to set my cheek area so I can blend products out. Uh, the next one I have is, from Maybelline is their Master Fix Setting Spray. I really like this. It's a great drugstore option. Um, and I love setting sprays. I'm very liberal with my setting spray usage. Uh, this I'm going to keep and use up. Plus it'll be good to like switch it up between like the MAC and that. That way I don't like get tired I, of one thing I guess. Um, the next thing I have by Maybelline is their Master Blur Stick. It's in the shade 120 which is like light medium. So I guess this is supposed to be like a primer, right? That's it rolled up. I've used this like a handful of times. So this isn't like all the product you get, but it's probably not like significantly used up. Anyway, so it's supposed to be like this primer, right? And it it's, says it's pore minimize. It's a pore minimizing tinted primer. I hate this. You put it on, it's so drying. It does not blend out well. And I've even tried to use it and like work in small sections, you know, no. Still no, it does do it does nothing for the pores, and it doesn't. There's certain things that it does not look good under. Um, and then with the shade being like light medium, sometimes like especially now, like you know we're coming out of winter and just coming into spring, it's um it's too dark for me. So this and I've used it. Nobody else is gonna want this, so this is going to get decluttered to the trash. Um, the last no, I lied. One of the last Maybelline products I have, oh, I love this stuff. It is their Tattoo Studio Brow Gel, and I have mine in the shade Soft Brown. It's number 255 Soft Brown. This, y'all, I love this stuff. So I don't apply it, like, it is kind of messy, and, okay, let's just talk about this, the wand. Like, who would use this to, like, draw in their brows with that? Not me. I take just an angled liner brush and like scrape off some of the product from the um, applicator and then, you know, do my brows. This lasts all day. It's a great shade. Um, I have no complaints about it. And there's still, I've had this for like a year and a half um, and I'm still using it and it's still going strong. I don't know how long this is going to take me. It's going to be probably till the end of the year. Um, but I do love this stuff, so I'm not that mad about this sticking around that long. The next product I have from Maybelline is a highlighter. It's the Master Chrome. It's the Molten Rose Gold Highlighter. So pretty. It's just this pretty pink, perfect highlighter. I have so many other highlighters, though, and I have a few pink ones. Not ones that are exactly the same, but similar enough. And... So I'm comfortable with decluttering this, giving it, either donating it, because it, I mean, I've used it quite a bit, um, so I don't know if a shelter would take it, but we'll definitely give it to my friend or let them look at it and see if they want it. So there's that. And then the last two things, one's from Maybelline and one is from Makeup Forever. So I only had two eyeshadow palettes that were not cruelty free. And I'm trying to, you know, this year, probably more than this, it'll go on longer than just this year, but at least for the rest of this year, I am doing the Pan Those Eyeshadows where I randomly select six shades from my collection. So I'm doing the, the Pan Those Eyeshadows. And I'm okay with letting this one go. It's the Matte Bar from Maybelline. It is really pretty. It's just an assortment of all matte shades that are like perfect for like summer. It really reminds me of like the Naked Heat and especially that little like petite version they put out of it. Um, the shades are nice, they are powdery, but they blend well, um, you know, they're, they've got great pigmentation to them. I have no complaints with them. It's just that this is so, I've only used it a handful of times, so I would rather it go 
to like a good home and get some love rather than me keeping it just so that I can say like, oh, I pan, you know, I hit pan in like one shade because I, if I remember correctly, I have like 300 and something like pans of eyeshadow. So randomly selecting a shade out of, you know, this particular one is slim to none. So that's my long winded way of saying I'm going to donate this. Final item I have that isn't cruelty free is from Makeup Forever. And so it was a palette that I selected the six shades for myself. So I built this myself. Um, this shade in the middle here, red brown, will look familiar to you because it's one of the six that I'm currently, one of the six eyeshadows that I'm currently trying to hit pan on. So this one, I am going to keep this eyeshadow palette. And one of the reasons is, is because I specifically picked these six shades. So this palette obviously really speaks to me out of, you know, a lot of the things in my collection. This was, you know, my perfect like six shades that I chose. So I'm going to keep it. So my goals for this, it's still going to be in rotation in my Project Pan Those Eyeshadows. And I'm going to actually leave it out on my makeup vanity and kind of set it aside from the rest of my eyeshadows with the goal and the intention being to try to incorporate one or more shade from this into my eye look every day so that I make sure I'm getting the best usage possible out of this. And in December, I mean, obviously I'll show you the palette, you know, every time I check in for this, but in December, I will decide from there. Um, probably what's gonna happen is I will just keep it until, you know, it has gotten a lot of love. There's a lot of pan. I don't, I'm not one to repress eyeshadows. I just think that that's a little too, um, I don't know. It's just not for me. I will repress other things like face powders and things like that, but not eyeshadows. So my point is, is that this is staying in my collection. I'm going to try to attempt to use it daily. Also, it will stay in my pan those eyeshadows. Um, you know, it'll, it'll still be up for grabs to be randomly selected through that. And then in December, we will see where we're at with this. That's all of my cool non-cruelty free makeup that was in my collection so yeah that's all i have to say about it uh the next update for this will probably come let's see probably sometime in the middle of july we'll see how much progress i have made on like moving these out so that i can say that i have a completely cruelty free collection but thanks so much for watching um you know again leave a comment down below if you have any ideas for items that i should try to you know, pull, pull in once these are finished up to kind of replace them. Uh, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.